Okay, so this is problem 32 from chapter 9 on, um, uh, on the section on Kirchhoff's Laws in the Frequency Domain. And the point of this section is just to realize that everything that we learned um, about Kirchhoff's Laws, the sum of the currents in and out of the node must be zero, and the sum of the voltage drops in a closed mesh must be zero, those still apply in the frequency domain. So. Here we have I, an I, some kind of independent current source going into this node that is, has two parallel branches. In this parallel branch, we have 120 ohms in series with a 12.5 microfarad. And in this branch here, we have a 40 ohm resistor in series with a 60 millihenry inductor. The current is uh, 50 cosine of 2000 T milliamps. By the way, you guys, if you get help, please do a small favor and like the Facebook page below. Um, the more people that know about it, the more I hope will create responsive videos and make this a more interactive forum. Okay, now we want to find the voltage drop across the inductor. And to do that, we're going to either use KCL or KVL. Well, KVL doesn't make a whole lot of sense because well, we would have to use, it just doesn't make sense. I mean, obviously, we don't have, um, we, could, we would end up having to use current division to find the current that would go here, and by, do, by doing current division, we would automatically know that voltage drop. So, since that doesn't make a heck of a lot of sense, KVL is the, or the KCL is the obvious choice. We have a current in one of the branches, so that is the obvious choice, and we're gonna use that. Now, we can't, analyze or use um, case KVL or KCL because we need to convert the capacitor into its equivalent impedance and we also need to convert the inductor into its equivalent impedance. So, capacitor impedance is negative J over omega C and capacitor inductance is, um, or excuse me, <laughs> Inductor impedance, sorry, I can't talk and think at the same time, and I'm very tired too, is J omega L. So the format, oh, and our current is 50 cosine 2000 T milliamps. And the format of, um, of a current or in the frequency domain is going to be the magnitude um, cosine of, and this here, the number right, the coefficient of t is the omega, and then plus the phase angle. In this case, there is no phase angle, so that phase angle is zero. And in fact, before we can continue, I'm going to convert this into a phaser. So that's going to be 50, 50 angle zero milliamps, which is exactly equal to, since it's just zero angle, that's going to be 0 0.5 amps. Now, capacitor impedance is, once you put, put this into your calculator later, negative J divided by 2,000 times 12.5 microfarads, you should, so Z sub C is negative J over 12.5 E minus 6 times 2,000, you should come up with and impedance of negative J40. So I'm going to replace that here with negative J40. And inductor impedance, Z sub L, is J omega L. Omega is 2000. L is 60 E minus 3. You should come up with positive 100 J120. So this is positive J120. Now we have everything in impedances and we can use KCL. The obvious node is going to be the only, this is obviously going to be my ground node and this is obviously going to be my V sub X. So, going into the node, since this is going into the node, it's going to be negative 0.5 amps plus V over I, V over Z, voltage over impedance is current, so V sub X over 120 plus, or minus, excuse me, minus J40 plus V sub X over 40 plus J120. All that has to equal zero. 
And now I'm going to move this over to the other side of the equation, 0 0.5 amps. Now I'm going to factor out a V sub x. When I factor out a V sub x, I have 1 over that and 1 over that. Right? So V sub x times, and these numbers, even though they're complex fractions, are just numbers. And when I add them together, I convert it into a polar coordinate. I can't give anybody advice on calculators because there's too many versions out there and that's not the purpose of my channel. So it's up to you to find out how to add this and how to add this and to come up with the right answer. But that is going to be, I'm going to erase this because it's imperative that you find out how to do this on your calculator because you are not going to be doing this by any, by math, mathematical means. Because for one thing, we're engineers, we're not mathematicians. So this gives me V sub x times 0.01118, angle negative 26.5651 degrees, is equal to 0.5. So this is just algebra now. Divide both sides by that. You'll get V sub x is equal to 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.01118, angle negative 26. 0.5651 degrees. Well, do that, and you should find you should arrive that v sub x is equal to 40. V sub x is equal to 40 44.7214 angle 26. Point 5651 five, degrees volts. So that is what is going into, well, that's the voltage drop if you took a, a multimeter, multi, stuck it from here with respect to ground, you'll find that that is that voltage. But that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for this voltage, the voltage drop across the inductor. Well, this section is about all about how the same laws in the time domain also translates over into the uh, frequency domain. So voltage division still applies. So it's going to be a proportion of the, vol of the impedance across the inductor times the total impedance of that branch. So V sub x will be the proportion 120 of impedance around the inductor divided by the total impedance, J120 plus 40, right? That's just voltage division, and you know all about voltage division, times that, vol that the voltage V sub X, that total voltage across that branch. So 44.7214 angle, 26.5651 degree volts, Put that into your calculator, and you will find that V, the voltage drop across the inductor, is 42, 42.43 angle 45. And that's the answer. Now, we don't leave the answer like that. We translate it back to cosines and sines. So the way to do that is this is the magnitude, and this is the phase angle. So V out is 42.43 cosine of 2000 T plus 45, 45, 45 degree volts. And that's the answer to problem 32. Make sure to like the Facebook page below, and if you can, uh, please do a response video and solve it using current division. That's my challenge. Thanks.